Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you. Take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. There is a suddenly in your life. <laughs> when I say suddenly, I mean suddenly and immediately. Now there is an eyes that is just angry. When I mean an angry eyes, you see an eyes that look at you as if they know you before, as if they know everything about you. The eyes of hatred have increased. The eyes of jealousy have increased. Pay attention to this word. And this person that the eyes of hatred have increased upon, that the jealousy have increased upon, the Lord said, I should tell you. He said, there is a suddenly upon your life. Hallelujah. He said, suddenly, you were being rejected before. But now, suddenly, there is an acceptance. This is the message that I heard. You know, the Bible says when the woman with the issue of blood was pressing forward, a lot of people were looking at her. They were giving ways. Eyes were on her. What did this one also want as well? Ah, even if everybody wants to touch Jesus, Jesus wants to touch. Is it this one that the parent has abandoned? That the family have left behind that no one wants to associate with. It is this one now that Jesus will allow her to touch him. The Bible said they begin to give way. And all eyes be was on her. All eyes was on her. This person specifically, there have been a lot of rejection in your life. But suddenly there is a lot of that is increase of hate. This is a prophetic word for somebody. There is a lot of hate now and jealousy when you felt that the jealousy was going to reduce that is when you see it coming out so heavily so heavily you know when i why i give messages like this when i'm giving these messages i explain so that it can get to whoever it is that the person can understand even if the person don't understand the first time when the person listening again he will understand i can just come out here and say god said that it's suddenly for you Praise the Lord, I will go. And you are like, what is the suddenly she's talking about? So I take my time. That is what God have already, have already equipped me to do. It is by the strength of the Lord. You are that person that everyone always feel that you are being rejected. Like, no, everyone look down on you like, who are you? The Lord said there is going to be a suddenly acceptance in your life and this is what is making the enemy mad there are eyes of jealousy there are eyes of hatred there are eyes of jealousy there are eyes of hatred and these eyes are always there to slow you down so that you will not be able to concentrate on the things that God is about to do in your life. So the process you are using to be concerned about the hate, about the jealousy, you is, is like you now lose focus on what you are going to achieve. That is the reason sometimes you just have to leave all of them in the hands of God and focus on your beautiful guiding. When I use the word beautiful guiding, that is the place you are always marching to. And that place that you are aspiring to be, it is a beautiful guiding. And the Lord says, suddenly you find yourself there and the eyes of jealousy and hate that is just pressing on you right now it is to distract you from looking ahead of what god is doing in your life i pray for focus i pray for concentration and i pray that you receive this acceptance you receive this acceptance from the Lord now suddenly in the name of Jesus. Men accept you for good. God accept you for good. Men and heaven, God will favor you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.